Okay, you fans of uh, Mary C's Chocolates, here we are at the factory at 3431 South La Cienega. Now, as you can see, the, the traffic is horrible. And uh, this is a Sunday, so this is as good as I'm gonna get. This is where Lucy and Ethel trained for the uh, the first episode of the second season that came out in 1952, the job switching episode. That's one of their most popular episodes of I Love Lucy. This is where they came to train. And of course, Ethel was the character, but her real name, of course, was Vivian Vance. And that right over there, if you wanna come, are the Baldwin Hills. And over there, just to give you a uh, context, that's right there, that's the expo line that goes to West, Holly, uh, West Los Angeles and stops the terminus at Santa Monica. And they're building a, another line along this uh, street a uh, little bit east of us. It's called, gonna be called the Crenshaw Line. But here you go. And uh, now, getting to the, uh, the synchronistic connection with C's. Now, the third wealthiest man in the world, Warren Buffett, bought C's after the family uh, so he, they wanted to sell it in 1972, but they wanted to sell it because in 1962, the son of Charles C., his name was uh, Lawrence, he, uh, he filed for divorce in 1962, and uh, that was a landmark divorce case for community property in California. It set the tone, the precedent for community property divorces in, uh, in that era. And uh, that was 1962 when the, uh, the divorce became final in 1966. Lawrence died in uh, 1969. So when Warren Buffett, he, when he found out about this place being sold, he bought it for a cool, easy, cheap, $25 million from the family in 1972. His holding company, Berkshire Hathaway, bought it. And so uh, the connection with Albuquerque, New Mexico and Warren Buffett. Now the way Warren Buffett found out about C's and the chocolate business and how profitable it was, his cousin George, his poor relation, if you will, in Albuquerque, they're, they're, they were our first cousins, and George opened up a, uh, a candy store in Albuquerque, New Mexico in 1956. He just, he died in 2012, his cousin. Now, throughout all that time, for 56 years, George was telling uh, Warren how profitable chocolate companies were and how there was very tiny loss and so when uh, that's the connection with Albuquerque now if you go to this day to Albuquerque they're still there he's, he's he died like I said but it's still there it's a tradition in Albuquerque just like C says for California in fact California the C's company didn't they hadn't uh, built a C's candy store out of the state until 1961 and the first store that was open was in Phoenix, Arizona. So, like I said, Georgia's Buffett's, even now when you go, everything is made out of milk chocolate there and it's also made out of uh, the uh, state, uh, a grain if you will, or it's a pinon and they uh, cover, they slather their candy with uh, New Mexican pinon or pine nuts and uh, now another connection with Albuquerque and Vivian Vance I didn't mention she was born and raised in Albuquerque and then like I said synchronistically she came here and uh, she trained here for that episode uh, when they were dipping the bonbons now another weird factoid is that the three wealthiest men in the world uh, Jeff Bezos born in Albuquerque, 
he moved there in 19 from he moved away as a baby to Texas at four years old and then Bill Gates founded Microsoft in Albuquerque in 1976 to 1979 then he went back to uh, Seattle and the rest is history but I thought that was just a weird synchronistic connection with Albuquerque Buffett's candy Warren Buffett and so this 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 candy company for uh, for Warren Buffett it it makes him millions every year on top of the I think he made 90 million net net profit in 2016 so let me get out and let me just get a long shot because I know this is a terrible day but this like I said this is as good as it gets and uh, I just wanted to say one thing that if you fans of popular culture especially you fans of Hollywood have never been to LA you better come because every time I come now there's this uh, this building jag of tearing whole swaths of blocks all over especially Hollywood so Hollywood another five years the original Hollywood it's gonna be gone because like right over there they built they tore out a whole swath a whole block and so everywhere I go now because they're, the real estate is so expensive so there you go there's the factory owned by the third wealthiest man in the world Warren Buffett and thanks to uh, mother and grandmother Mary C this is what she started her inventiveness with her love creativity and her ingenious method of con concocting in my opinion the best chocolate in the world so uh, thank you for watching this far and uh, have a wonderful upcoming Mother's Day and don't forget to buy mom some C's candy okay uh, so thank you for watching and please subscribe and Mary, wherever you're at, good night, sweet princess.